Rebecca Suda is a well-known and a highly revered, highly regarded attorney. Uh, I met her when she took cases before me when I was a federal judge. She had a lot of experience litigating uh, prison issues and trying to get people released from unfair sentences and so forth. She is now the uh, executive director of the Innocent Project at the University of Baltimore School of Law. She's doing a wonderful job there, and uh, I'm just fortunate to be able to have her with us this year as our uh, uh, lecturer. My name's Erica Suter, and I'm the director of the Innocence Project Clinic at the University of Baltimore. The Innocence Project Clinic at the University of Baltimore is a collaborative project between the Maryland Office of the Public Defender and the University of Baltimore School of Law. And we exist to help exonerate the innocent in Maryland. And it's a teaching clinic, so I'm the director, but I'm also a professor of the practice, and I get to do this work while training sort of the next generation of lawyers how to do this work as well. I've always wanted to be a criminal defense attorney, and I sort of fell into this area of wrongful convictions, but it really suited sort of my talents and my interests, and to me is one of the most noble pursuits. People who, where everything has gone wrong and you're stepping in and working with them to try to undo a miscarriage of justice, it's, it's an honor and a privilege to be able to do this work. A lot of people read about in today wrongful convictions where people have been exonerated by DNA, and that has been um, a significant number of cases that the Innocence Project Clinic has worked on. So people who have served long periods of years, sometimes 25 years, who are innocent, and through the work of the clinic, evidence was able to be found and retested to show that these were, in fact, innocent people. Freeing humans and teaching students are my heart's two greatest joys. Being able to reach somebody that has been sort of written off and being able to change not only their life, but their families' lives and their communities' lives and being able to give them, be able to take somebody who's been shed away and forgotten and help them to gain their life back is, is something amazing to be able to do. Having the clinic recognized is such an honor. Being able to do this work in and of itself is a privilege and an honor. My clients are some of the strongest, most wonderful people that I know. And to be recognized by Judge Williams, who's, you know, an iconic figure is, is truly an honor to the clinic. Yeah.